Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Biologics 5 and today we are going to discuss MCQs on regulation of gene expression and lac operon. Here are 10 MCQ, MCQs and we will discuss them one by one. Here we have a lac operon pictures, this is in switch on mode and this is in switch, this is in actually switch off mode and this is in switch on mode. When the repressor is present, that operon is in switch off mode and when there is an inducer is present inactivate the repressor and this gene will get expressed that is switch on mode of operon so let's discuss these questions first question regulation of lack operon by repressor is referred as negative regulation positive regulation both positive negative none of the above actually regulation of lack operon by repressor is referred as negative regulation why it is known as negative regulation because this repressors will suppress or reduce or we can say inhibit the expression of these genes ZYA these are structural genes required for the lactose metabolism they will not get expressed in the presence of repressor so this operon is in under negative regulation of this repressor so the option is A it's a correct one next the regulator protein can act as repressor only activator only negative no only both activate and repressor actually here in lac operon this regulatory protein actually this is a regulatory gene and here it is functioning as inhibitor gene because it express and form the repressor in other operon it also can act as activator so the regulatory protein can be activator as well as inhibitor in lac operon it is inhibitor or repressor but in other operons it function as activator also so the option d both activator and repressor is the correct option next the operator region adjacent to promoter specifically binds to here clearly we can see this is the operator region and this is adjacent to the promoter Region. This is a promoter for these structural genes actually. So, on this operator region, repressor protein will repressor protein will bind and will not allow RNA polymerase to bind this promoter, and the transcription of these genes will not occur. So, the operator regions adjacent to promoter specifically binds to this repressor protein actually in lac operon. So, the option C is the correct option next come to fourth questions and that is enzymes for lactose metabolism are enzymes for lactose metabolism are galactosidase transacetylase galactosidase permease beta galactosidase only or galactosidase permease and transacetylase actually all three enzymes are required for the lactose metabolism here we can clearly say clearly see that these three enzymes beta galactosidase permease and transacetylase are the product of these genes these structural genes get expressed and form these enzymes and these enzymes are required for the lactose metabolism so all three enzymes are required for the lactose metabolism we can discuss also the function of these enzymes actually beta galactosidase actually hydrolyze the sugar lactose into its monomer that is glucose and galactose permease allows the entry of lactose into the cell and transacetylase transfer the acetyl group on beta galactoside that is lactose so the option d is the correct option next the repressor protein is inactivated by the repressor protein is inactivated by interaction with galactose lactose and allolactose glucose and lactose lactose and galactose so the option b is the correct option repressor protein is inactivated by allolactose or they should be or allolactose they are the same actually so this option is the correct actually lactose function also as an inducer it function also as an inducer and the substrate here this is function as this is a lactose molecule actually this lactose molecule will bind to the repressor protein and inactivate the repressor 
and it also has the substrate for this enzyme substrate for this enzyme is lactose so it function also as inducer as well as substrate so lactose is an inducer inactivate the repressor protein so the b option is the correct one next come to our sixth question and that is in lac operon of e coli in lac operon of e coli the i gene codes for i gene codes for repressor we can clearly see in the picture here this is the lac operon and this is our i gene what it codes for it codes for repressor actually this i gene i denotes for actually inhibitor we can say inhibitor gene inhibitor i denotes for inhibitor so this i gene codes for the repressor actually this is the repressor and that is coded by this i gene then i denotes for inhibitor so the option repressor inhibitor is and repressor the same thing so the option is repressor it can't be inducer inducer is a lactose and lactase is the enzyme this is also enzyme so the option b is the correct option next the regulation of gene expression occurs at the level of regulation of gene expression occurs at the level of transcription processing translation all of these actually in eukaryotes it occurs at all the levels transcription processing and translation level and in prokaryotes it occurs at transcription initiation level so all these options are correct options all of these next the question is during expression of open operon is yes, already ticked actually answer is ticked during expression of an operon rna polymerase binds to we all know that rna polymerase binds to the promoter region this is the suppose this is our operon and these are the structural genes three we can say x y a z y a these are the structural genes and this is there is the operator region always and there is the promoter so the rna polymerase binds to this promoter region so the option c is a correct option next match column with column second and select the correct options from the code given below let's see the options here first the operator site second promoter site and the regulator gene or the structural gene first is this operator site operator site is the site where the repressor molecule binds so option this binding site for repressor so a is for second and b promoter site promoter site is always bind to rna polymerase so b option is will be there the regulatory gene regulatory gene codes for repressor molecule actually so c here and the structural gene yeah codes for enzyme this is t so b1 a second a second so come to the a all have three options now come to the b b first here and there only now come to the c c should be fourth so a is the fourth and d is the third so this b option is the correct option now come to a last question that is the 10th one and that is about lactose operon is in switch on mode lactose operon is in switch on mode only when both lactose and glucose are absent and only when both lactose and glucose are present only when lactose is absent and glucose is present only when lactose is present and glucose is absent these are the four option and switch on mode lactose operon is in switch on mode only when there is lactose present in the atmosphere or we can say that in the media lactose is present 
lactose is present but when the glucose is actually glucose is the preferred source of energy for e coli glucose is preferred source of energy for e coli lactose when there is no glucose in the environment where there is no glucose in the environment and lactose is present then this start of lack operon the operon lack operon will in switch on mode when there is lactose is present and glucose is absent in the environment then these genes of lack operon will express and metabolize this lactose so the option fourth option only when lactose is present and glucose is absent is the correct option only when lactose is present and glucose is absent lactose metabolism start only in the absence of glucose so this is the correct option discussed all the questions hope this question will be helpful for you in your studies and your exams so students if you like my video please subscribe my channel and ring the bell if you want to get notified whenever i post my next video with new mcqs on different topics thank you for watching